Yo, yo. Y'all still tuned in and there on Coronavirus Saturday? Yes, sir. This is your boy, Harlem Smiley, man. And you are tuned in to the one, the only, Dirt Gang TV. And I know what y'all been waiting for, man. This is the Harlem Smiley story. Had to give y'all, you know I'm saying, Saturday, man. Y'all know I don't like blogging too much on Saturdays, man. But being that y'all stuck in the house anyway, y'all can't go nowhere. Couple of y'all got them little stimulus checks, huh? Let me hold some. <laughs> nah, man. I got something to say about that, too. But we going to get to it. See what I'm saying? Other than that, Harlem Smiley story. We in Dunkirk with it. What's happening out there? It's afternoon time, man. In both places. East Coast and West Coast. You in there still on that couch? Come on, yo. It's too late for you to be in there sleep on that couch. You can't get this money if you in there sleep on a couch. Come on, y'all. Get up. Production. Let's go. Some of this weather done passed. It's a little nice outside. Let's get to it, man. Dirt game. We roll. Yikes. The side block. No. It's curvy low, nigga. You are now tuned into Bossman Tough Beats. Y'all niggas already know what it is, man. Shout out from all the thirties, man. All the way from 35th and Edgecombe, all the way to Crenshaw, man. Y'all already know what it is. 30s up, man. All the mafia, man. Side block shit. Let's get it, man. Shit. To the government. I'm the best ever. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from a Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz, put it in check. I'm up next. This is your boy Harlem Smiley, man. You are tuned in to the one, the only, Dirt Gang TV. So, just to pick up from where we left off, man, we was in, uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Everybody sync up, man. Sync up. Excuse me. Light is up. Anyway, so... We in Dunkirk with it. We all get we get out there. Spur the moment trip again. What was I thinking about? Get up there, go to my cousin Smokehouse. Go to my cousin Toy House. They's like, yo, let's go to the ball. They got the new friend out there. The bitch that walk around with the stilts. See what I'm saying? Like this. She got the torso. Remember, no nubbies. Just torso. She's thinking like pussy. And then the rest up. Like the whole little. Then the rest up. Torso. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it is what it is. So, we in the club, and I'm looking around. I'm at the bar. Fuck going on here? What? Where's this guy at? I can't find this guy nowhere. So, you can't smoke bogeys in the club. I decided to go outside to go smoke a bogey. Walk around, because, you know, listen, Dunkirk, I be a little skeptical about Dunkirk. Police grab you up real quick. We got the illegal beagle. I ain't want this nigga to be sitting in the car. Niggas pull up. Ooh. Let's see what this nigga at. You know what I'm saying? Pull up. Go around the corner. Lo and behold. Fucking LG is back there getting brain from the torso. LG what? What? Fuck going on here? You know what I'm saying? Y'all not thinking. I see a lot of y'all in the comments. Took my all. Oh, was Lil Lonzo. Remember, Lil Lonzo, he too young to get in the club. He can't be in the club. That nigga not even pretty much there. See what I'm saying? That nigga can't get in the club. Remember, he too young. <laughs> but that was that was a good guess from y'all, though. Nope. Fucking LG in the back getting some head. What the fuck? Walk around the corner. I see her first because, you know, it's just weird seeing a bitch on stilts. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had the legs that she can put on attached to her torso. She had those shits. See what I'm saying? The prosthetics. She had two of them things. See what I'm saying? To which she could put on. But she still had to use them stilt shit because them legs didn't work. They was there for just show and tell. See what I'm saying? She's like some good pair of Jordans. She take those off as soon as she gets to the house. <laughs> anyway, so I look up at this nigga and he just back there cheesing like this. I know y'all don't know LG, but LG is black. LG is black, and it was black outside. So she light-skinned, plus you can't miss them big silver stilts. You're not missing that. See what I'm saying? Just think about it. Her legs don't work. So think about it. When you got LG, he up like this. He trying to give her a little bit more height because it ain't like she could bend down on her knees. She got the stilts. <laughs> think about the, think about the, do the vision in your head. LG up like this, and the torso bitch on stilts. Giving up some head in the back parking lot. What? Not even in the car. So, I look up at this nigga. He's got the, like, only thing I can see is his teeth. Is his teeth mad black? But I know it's him because I see the logo of the hat. 
You know what I'm saying? But he's smiling. He's stuck. He can't say nothing. And I'm just sitting there like, I'm just like fucking just disgusted. I'm like, damn, the torso bitch. You know what I'm saying? But I do what any other, uh, any normal person would do. Any good supportive family member would do. I just get out of there. I had no words. I was just lost for words. Couldn't believe it. Her back there giving us some head with having no legs. Eh, it doesn't surprise me. But this nigga's in the back getting head from the bitch with no legs. What? You get head from torso pussy right now? Come on, son. I get up out of there. I don't go in there and tell nobody. I wanted to so bad. I want to go over to, yo, this nigga LG in the back getting half from the torso pussy. Anyway, so that's not a name. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's not a name. Anyway, <coughs> so you know I'm I'm saying? I'm chilling with the girl from upstairs for the most part. See what I'm saying? Um, Reem is inside the club getting his Mac on, doing his Reem. We got something we call pulling the Reem. Y'all want to know what pulling the Reem is? So this is Reem do, right? Damn, I wish I had my hat. Hold on. I, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. So everybody up the hill of Brownsville, all the family members, you know this is called pulling the ring. See what I'm saying? So Reem, keep his head low just like this. You know what I'm saying? Reem had to be low as fuck. Just like this. And this is how Reem is sitting there. He just stay at a bitch like he, 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 had to, he had to stay at it just like this. That's called the ream look. That's just the ream look. Remember how low. And then as soon as they lock eye contact, ream walk over there. Excuse me, Ma, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? She be like, if she give him the old, hold on, that shit hurt my eyes. If she give him the old disrespect, sorry, I thought I was camera on and them niggas back in 2000. If she give him the disrespect, you know what's coming. The ream curse out. So, this is the ream look from a long distance, from a distance. He do that to any, anybody bitch. It don't matter. I'm saying unless you cool with him like that, you know, you might not give your bitch the ream look. Family members all that. He don't care this ream we talking about. That's the ream look. Then he go, remember, we still pulling the ream. It's a whole sequence. That's the ream look. Then he go up, hit her with the little, you know what I'm saying? What's good, ma? How you doing? And if she give him the, oh, don't talk to me or the ignore, she get the ring curse out. But if not, she go along with it, nine times out of ten, ring going to pull out. I don't want y'all to get it twisted out there in these Ream done took down a lot of bitches out there. Ream done took down a lot of shit out there. Ream takes shit down. Don't get it misinterpreted. But that's why Ream get tight. Because he be like, damn. All these bitches in the street, I done slapped around. This one want to act stupid? Let me throw a bottle at this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> shit like that. You know what I'm saying? It's ring. That's called pulling the ring. It's simple. First you get the ring look. Then you get the ring flow. You know what I'm saying? Coming in with something. How you doing? Then if you don't accept, you get the ring curse out. If not, you going, you know, you gonna, he going to slide that. That's called pulling a ring. So Reem is in the club pulling the ring. And I'm looking. I see Reem looking at this one girl. See what I'm saying? My son by the ball. My son just like this. I'm like, oh shit. My son locked in. You know what I'm saying? My son Reem. <laughs> Get somebody with the Reem look. So Toya chilling. She at the ball. See what I'm saying? With the same girl, you know, who uh, lived upstairs from her. Lonzo. He back at the crib with the little sister, with the girl who I'm chilling with, Toy upstairs neighbor. He back at the spot with the little sister and the girl who I'm with, her baby father also lives with them. So Lonzo back at the crib with them. He can't go out. See what I'm saying? So boom, <laughs> LG walks back in there first. And the only thing I'm like, damn, where Torso at? You know what I'm saying? So he walks in there and he like the disappointment in his face. He must have seen the disappointment in my face. So I'm like, damn. But I don't say nothing about it because I don't want to throw it on blast in front of everybody. I literally do what any good cousin should do. Ask the bartender, yo, 
Let me get two shots of Hennessy. One for me, one for him. Nope, he need both these shits. <laughs> you better double shot that shit. You got to try to drink your way from what happened. You know what I'm saying? I know he ain't got no bitches no more. See what I'm saying? You know. Might have been a little long time for my guy. See what I'm saying? I told you Torso was all drunk and horny. <laughs> what y'all doing? I'll tell y'all, listen. It's crazy because she wasn't ugly. She had long hair. She actually had boobs, but... Come on, you can't get past the no leg situation, but <laughs> anyway, this is upstate New York. Shit closed down early. It's time for us to get out of there. You know what I'm saying? We get up out of there, get back on the block. Toy like, all right, we, I'm, um, we about to go play cards down that smokehouse. What's good? So I'm like, fuck it. So the girl from upstairs grabs me to the side. She like, nah, let them go. Let them go. So I'm like, ah, I know what this mean already. To let them go, let them go. See what I'm saying? So then this bitch grabbed me, and the bitch just like pushed me on the side and started kissing me. Now, one thing about your boy Harlem Smiley, any of my exes listening to or watching this right now going to be like, yeah, he right. He right, he ain't lying. <laughs> I don't like kissing. I don't like saliva. Saliva is not my deal. I fucking hate saliva. That's why, listen, before coronavirus even came around, Long before that, I hate saliva. So this bitch grabs me, start kissing me. I had to, oh, bitch, hold up. First off, I ain't check your lips for the bum bumps yet. Let me check for the bum bum. I know I checked the last time. I ain't see you in like almost two years. Let me check for the bum bumps. Second of all, bitch, I don't like kissing. You know, white people, they always want to fucking do that freaky ass, drunk ass, this bitch drunk shit or trying to, man, fuck all that. You want me to slap it around? It is what it is. Let's go upstairs. Go upstairs. The baby father is sitting right there. Lonzo sitting there. The little sister sitting there. The baby father and the baby sitting there. So we get up the stairs. I'm like, damn, the fuck? So, you know. You're like, oh, what's good, man? Yada, yada, yada. You back at the fuck? So she like drunk and shit. So I'm saying she like, we be back. And she grabbing me. We running right by these niggas to the room. Like, you could instantly tell I was going to slap it around. And the look on this nigga face, like, damn. Why? And I want to just ask him, too. I'm like, why are you still here living with this bitch? I can't be the first one. Nigga, she done ran past you, about to go slap around in the room. You might sleep in. And I know if you lived there and y'all lived together and you the baby father, I know the way I horny this bitch is. She, you might still be slapping around once or twice, a month, a year. I know you probably still do because y'all live together. But, but. You gonna just sit there and just the look on his face was just a look of agony. So I did what any normal person would do. I ain't gonna lie. I felt bad. But I went in her room. I rolled up a blunt. Smoked that blunt. And while smoking that blunt, got some awesome head. And just let the little drunk little white bitch, see what I'm saying? Just get her ride on. And yo, you sloppy drunk girls. I got a little PS. Stop drinking. Stop thinking when y'all drunk, y'all look sexy, and y'all get on top and ride and want to just go to the beat. Y'all want to go all slow, back and forth, back and forth. That don't do shit. Stop trying to look sexy. I'm trying to get in, get out like a robbery. Stop playing with it. Ain't nothing sexy about you when you run around here drunk. You just do different things when y'all drunk. Let's get it for real. So I'm getting on top. You're a drunk coming from the club and shit. You know you don't have magic. Ah, sexy. No, you ain't. That's how you sound. In your mind, you sexy. But I'm telling you, if you record that, ain't nothing sexy about that shit. Y'all grinding back. Bitch, nobody grinding. You know you, I'm saying. Grinding that pelvic bone on me. Get your ass off me. Anyway, slap it around. I'm saying I ain't really do no work. I'm just sitting there smoking the blunt, letting this bitch do everything. But she thinks she's sexy. You know what I'm saying? She thinks she's sexy. But she big, so I ain't got to worry about the pelvic bone. But, bitch, just take it too long. Let's get to it. You ain't looking sexy. You here sloppy drunk. Yeah. Get your ass out of here. Finish slapping that around. Walk back by the baby father. Peace. See what I'm saying? Lil' Lons are like, fuck that. I'm up out of here. Peace. You know what I'm saying? We go down the block. Link up with LG and Reem. You know what I'm saying? Get down the block. Lonzo with me. The little sister, Toya friend, 
They back at the apartment. Everybody else supposed to be at Smokehouse. Toy is supposed to be at Smokehouse. Smoke supposed to be down there. Uh, Reem supposed to be down there. LG supposed to be down there. They supposed to be down there playing space. That's what's supposed to be the two on two matchup. Get down there. See Toya. See uh. CLG, Toya, CLG, <coughs> see Toya, CLG, um, C Smoke. Fuck is Reem at? Fuck Reem go. It is what it is. The uh, Smoke girl from playing Spades. Reem a big boy. He'll be all right. We chilling. Hour two pass by. Smoke like all right. You know I'm about to go to sleep and all that. We go down to Toya house. We go to sleep. Wake up the next day. So hot shit. Fucking flies. The goddamn flies in that house. Oh my God. You ever seen so many flies in the house where the shit would just wake you up out your sleep? I'm talking about I'm waking up slapping flies. Just slapping flies to the point to where I couldn't take it no more. I'm like, what the fuck? I literally woke everybody up. I jumped up like, what the fuck? He's like, what the wrong with you? These fucking flies keep landing on me. Bitch, I got shorts on. Goddamn flies keep landing on my legs and shit. You slap them off the bitch. The annoying flies, too. Shit be on you. You slap the shit up, shit. Come right back on. Slap that shit. Come right. The, the fucking annoying. Y'all people, man. Stop having flies in your house. That shit is annoying when you sleep. So I wake up and I look around. What the fuck? I was the only nigga on this bed last night. I look. Reem is on one side. LG is on another side. And I'm in the middle. But when I went to sleep, I didn't I didn't go to sleep in the middle of the bed. So you know LG is on me, but he on he on one side of the bed, but he on like the he on like the super crook, the super corner. And I see Reem and Delon's on the couch. I'm saying. So I wake everybody up. I'm like, fuck it. Wake up, niggas brush their teeth, wash up and all that. Time to go outside and smoke this blunt. Outside smoke the blunt. See what I'm saying? Start raining. What the fuck? Let's hot box in the car. So now we get in the car. So now the questions is flowing. Now the questions is flowing. I'm so now I'm like, yo, yo, Lonzo, was you over there playing goddamn Uno all goddamn night, my nigga? Was it all right over there with the baby father? Cause you know he like, yo, that was fucked up how you ran by the baby father and just went in and just smashed the baby mom. I said, nigga, that wasn't my idea. I didn't know the nigga even lived there. See what I'm saying? You know I ain't been out here in a while. I'm saying it wasn't my idea. Well, nigga, what happened to you? He's like, nah. Saying I fucked the little sister. Well, he went in there and went and took a nap with the baby. I went in the room and slapped the little sister. See what I'm saying? I'm like, hi. Right. I didn't really want to hear that part, but you know, I was asking how your night went. He was like, nah, son. Her little ass is freaky too. Bitch was giving me head. Then she licked my butt. I said, what? <laughs> Remember, Lonzo like a teenager. He's like, yeah, son. It's the first time, son. She licked my butt, son. I'm like, what the fuck, Lonzo? You a nasty motherfucker. You probably got the wet butthole right now, my nigga. See what I'm saying? He's like, nah, I got a shower. Nigga, you got the wet butthole, nigga. Ew. He's like, yo, I ain't gonna lie. Don't knock it till you try it. Get the fuck out of here, nigga. I ain't getting no bitch to lick my ass, so you stupid. See what I'm saying? But I guess that was better than LG getting half from the torso, bitch. So now I'm like, you know what I'm saying? We family. We joking all that. Niggas is like, what? Yo, what? I left the club going to back. This nigga LG is getting headed from the Puerto Rican bitch with the stilts. Niggas are like, what? I don't want to say her real name. I know her real name on here, but I don't know if she still live up there. So that's a small ass town. But if they do, they probably know what the fuck I'm talking about already. I don't think it's too many people walk around out there like that. Anyway. LG like, yo, y'all niggas is bugging. The head was phenomenal. What? He's like, man, I bring that bitch back with me to the city. Bring that bitch on Franklin Avenue and get money. I said, nah. You can't have this bitch stilting down Franklin Avenue. See what I'm saying? Looking for Johns and shit. She got to get in the car and shit. She all slow and shit. Police come. She can't run away. She can't get away. She caught. They going to get that bitch easily. Ain't no pimps going to steal this bitch. <laughs> He's like, nah, son. I ain't going to lie. That bitch throat game is phenomenal. I said, yo, yeah, yo, you a nasty motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Niggas like, where was you at last, nigga? Which, you know where I went. This nigga was like, yeah, this nigga song came upstairs with a dumbass look on his face. The girl is telling the baby, you know, he trying to say what up the song. 
the babe, the babe mother all drunk and shit. She just trying to get him in the room and shit. You know, this nigga trying to talk back. Dumbass, look at this Lonzo talking about me. Listen, it was a situation I have never been in before. I didn't know it was going to go one of two ways. He was going to curse his bitch out and try to get Bucky, or he was going to sit there and accept it. And unfortunately, he did the sit there and accept the role. I couldn't have been that role, but he sat there and took it. See what I'm saying? So then niggas like Reem, by the way, where the fuck was you at last night, Reem? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Reem like, y'all really want to know? Yep. Where was you at last night? I went to the Puerto Rican bitch house last night too. You went to the Puerto Rican bitch house last night too? Who? A different Puerto Rican bitch? Nah. Tosso. What? Reem. What? Nah, son. Reem like, yo, <laughs> LG ain't lying. So you both of you niggas just sat there and got head from the torso, bitch. And didn't even, wasn't even planning the shit? What? Reem like, yo, son. That bitch actually got a pussy. I said, what? Now, at this time, nobody seen it. So that's why I describe it like that, because that's how Reem described it. He was like, yo. So she get undressed. See what I'm saying? She take the, the uh, shirt and shit off. So I'm like, all right. She actually got nice titties. Like, you know, she kind of look like Rosie Perez a little bit. Almost shaped like Rosie Perez, minus the legs and the ass part. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it. Like, I mean, it was like a little, you know, if you take the leg part off, remember the ass, the, the right part of the ass cheek is not there no more. The left part of the ass, think, think, people. So he was like, when she popped them legs off the bloop, bloop, and I seen what was left. What? What? That nigga's like, literally, it was the pussy. And then it was just like the rest of the body. I said, the torso? The nigga said, yo, that's a fact. I said, torso pussy. I, we wasn't calling her that yet. See what I'm saying? That was just, we calling her that now. But we wasn't calling her that yet. Her name was just, I don't want to say her name is. So what? So you see pussy and torso? That's what it was? The torso, yo, come on, what is wrong with y'all, man? At that, at this time, it was a sad time and family moment. Sad time and family moment, but you know what it is, you know what I'm saying? We ain't done Kirk with it. We chilling. So, for the rest of those couple of days and shit, niggas just chilled out. Smoke weed, I was selling some weed, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So, boom. Say goodbye to our people. Time to get back out of Dunkirk. Dunkirk, it's been fun. See y'all next time. We went nowhere near that store we stopped at before. Nowhere near that store. Quite honestly, once we got up there, we didn't even really drive that car around. If we needed to go somewhere, we was in his brother's legal car. We knew better. But now it's time to drive the illegal beagle back. All the way back to Brooklyn. So, don't y'all thinking? What are you about to say? He broke down or some shit like that? Nah, we ain't break down or nothing like that. We good. We made it back. All the way back. Smooth. I told y'all. LG and them side of the family, a long list of mechanics. Them motherfuckers, the one thing they do, if I ever had got big money to open these motherfuckers up a shop back in the day, I would have did it. Because what? Fixing cars? That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, to my Bryson and LG and they pops, see what I'm saying? Like, all they like all of them, you know what I'm saying? They they uncles and all of them fixed cars, like they used to come around hands black all the time. Somebody they just get out the shower, they hands still got motor oil on it. What? Then you just got out the shower. How your hands still black? You know what I'm saying? A bull. We get back down there. So now we get back to Brownsville. Fucking forgot about Richie the whole goddamn time. This nigga Richie like, yo, nigga, I've been dry down here. Niggas is bum rushing me, asking me for what I'm saying. Like, what happened was all the customers knew he had the same shit. So if my customers didn't see me or didn't see Lonzo, <coughs> they was running Richie. So he got that shit off mad quick. And on top of that, he ain't had no weed to smoke for himself. I mean, he was other spots he had to go to, but I'm not even going to lie. I had that kind of weed to where when you, uh, like, if you were smoking that, if somebody else didn't have something that was like better or similar, you didn't want to go nowhere else. Shit was, it wasn't even worth it. See what I'm saying? Especially because I got the good weed and the deals. So I'm like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? I done sold weed to Dunkirk and shit. Damn. I had some 
Bus Richie with the rest, Bus Lonzo with the rest. Now I'm dry. Now I gotta go back down to Franklin and Fulton. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, fuck it. I'm not about to tell LG to take me down there. He done had the long ride. See what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I do it. I jump on a bus. I can't do what any normal person doing smoke because I ain't got no weed. So I jump on the bus. Um, so now I'm no, no. This time I jump on the train. I jump on the train going there. I get on the train going there. Get out. Um, get off the train, go inside, grab my shit or whatever like that. See what I'm saying? This is like nighttime now by the time we got back down there too. Now I come out the spot. Who's coming in the spot? My cousin Corey. Yup. What's good, cuz? <sighs> Niggas just stole my bitch. What? This nigga said, this nigga just stole my bitch. What are you talking about? So, you remember in part 21, when I told y'all niggas be running down on, uh, on, uh, on niggas bitches and shit, and they be snagging them up, and then when you run into the pimp, you can either go and pay for the bitches to get them back, you can pay the pimp to get your bitch back, or you can fight him and just take your bitch back. See what I'm saying? So when your bitch get caught slipping by another pimp. That's why you need the gangster bitch. That's going to be like, nah, fuck you, nigga. I ain't getting that car. See what I'm saying? And get up out of there. Go try to find her pimp. But at this time, Corey out there for the dolo by himself. So that nigga like, nah, son, I had to come back to the spot to go grab something to figure out my next move. So at this time, we right there by the spot. I'm not about to pull nothing out and sell this nigga nothing. So he go inside, go grab his shit. I go inside the Chinese restaurant, order me some food. I'm not really eating nothing, though. I'm just trying to, like, burn time. I think I ordered me, like, a uh, shrimp roll or some shit like that. So, uh, get my shit. He come out of there. Boom. So, now we go around the corner. Uh, no, not around the corner. We walk towards, from Franklin towards, like, no string down Fulton. So, now he rolling. I'm rolling. See what I'm saying? He like, yo, I don't even know what the fuck I'm about to do, son. So I'm like, what the fuck you mean? Let's go get your bitch back. So he's like, nah, I'm not about to pay for this bitch to get back. We just got out here, like, you know what I'm saying? Money short like a motherfucker right now. So Corey, you normally has like four or five, you know, different bitches. That at this time, he only had one. So you know, shit wasn't going as as it was before. See what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, but if this your only source of income, you can't be sitting here coming to buy weed, you know what I'm saying? Let's go get the bitch back. So, boom. We get high. We walk back over to Franklin and Fulton. Now we want to hunt for these pimp niggas. So I'm like, Corey, why you let this bitch catch your, get your, uh, catch your bitch slipping anyway? He like, honestly, I don't even know if he got her. But he was the only other pimp out here. And unless this bitch got arrested, which I don't think that was the case. Because I was, you know, I was walking around. I didn't see no what's name. So, now we walking. So now we walking all the way. So now we like, we walking down, uh, I mean like, psh, we walking like from, we walking down Franklin towards like Stuyvesant Avenue and all that. Like we all through Best Stop. See what I'm saying? We strolling. We just strolling. See what I'm saying? After an hour and 15 minutes, we finally see the, we find out we see the bitch. See what I'm saying? So Corey see the, he like, yo. Get your ass over here. See what I'm saying? So as she walking over there, nigga come pull, running up. Yo, that's my... Corey like, nah, ain't your bitch. That's my bitch. See what I'm saying? He like, nah, I call her slipping. See what I'm saying? You know, you gonna have to buy her back. She ain't make enough money for me. She only made 150 for me. Corey like, she only made 150 for you. She only made 150 for you. He out here like, yup. He like, nigga, I just literally just went to the spot. Spent my last $20 on weed. She made 150 for you. How much you want her to make for you? Or you have to give me another 150, you want her back. Another 150? Corey like, nah, man, I ain't give you no another 150. See what I'm saying? Or the worst case scenario, all I'll let her do is I'll let her catch one more John for you. What? I'm trying to sit back, mind my business. Cause really I'm trying, I don't know the game. I don't know the game. I don't know the game. I listen, the only thing I know from the stuff he tell me, I'm trying to sit back, but when he said he would spend his last twenty dollars, she just made one fifty for him, and then you would let him what? 
I had to intervene. I said, Corey, man, fuck all that. Man, I told her, her name was uh, Diamond. Diamond, man, let's go. Fuck out of here. So the nigga goes to grab the bitch. And when he grabbed the bitch, two piece, you know what I'm saying? Zuzu. I swear to God on my life, I didn't even see the other nigga sitting on the stoop the whole time. It's a nigga sitting right there on the stoop the whole time. I none of we got no idea. We so focused on this dude. So when I say at that two piece them, the dude come with the razor, try to eat Corey food. Whew. Corey moves out the way, push that nigga. See what I'm saying? He hit, Corey hits him with the left. Bink. The reason why I know he hit him with the left is when he hit him with the left, he, he stumbled towards my side and I banged him right to the right. Bink. Corey with a car. I ain't got no car. What? How you get down here with the bitch? We took the train. What? From the Atlantic Towers, you jumped on the train with the prostitute? Remember, we done been walking all the way towards Stuyvesant Avenue. You mean to tell me now we got to make our way all the way back? Because the only way back to Brownsville, you got to get to that A or that C train or that 25 bus. We got to get all the way back to Fulton Street with the prostitute. I'm saying we don't know if these niggas got the heat. We don't know if they live around here. We don't know if they got the car. We probably like eight blocks from the train station to the bus. We got to go. That's why I don't like hanging out with y'all niggas, man. I came down here to give me some fucking weed. Get the fuck out of here. I'm down here fighting with fucking a uh, half a pound of weed on me right now. And I got warrants. What kind of dumb shit am I out here doing? Stupid shit. We got to go. Shit you would do for your family, son. Now we book an ass. See what I'm saying? We don't even take Franklin. We go to the next avenue over. Take that up. You know what I'm saying? Now we strolling. But the bitch, like, she barely got clothes on. You could clearly tell she a prostitute. It's nighttime. DT jump out. First thing they doing, ask for ID. Soon as they run my name, it's over. Fuck. We eight blocks away. I don't know if we gonna make it. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know if we gonna make it. And I'm gonna be honest. Y'all not gonna know if we make it either unless y'all watch the next one. I'm just a Brooklyn Crip from my Harlem set. Show some respect. If not, cuz, put in the check. I'm up next. This is your boy Harlem Smiley, man. And you have been tuned in to one, the only, Dirt Gang TV. And listen, man, if y'all want to donate to the cause, man, the cash app is dollar sign Harlem Smiley. When we go live, we go live all the time. Just hit the notification bell, man. Subscribe to the channel, man. And you know what it is, man. If y'all fuck with the content, man, hit the thumb. Turn it from white to blue. And if not one... Put up two, man. Dirt game. We rolling, man. Nice shirt.